Is that your bonnie, baby? What are you doing with it, darling? Get to your front bed. Yeah, she's picked it up and turned around with it. I think she loves it. <laughs> no, she does. She loves it. You're killing your bunny, babe. could not really have been worse as long planned visit a first to the UK for Egypt's President Sisi but just hours before David Cameron had suspended British flights to Sharm El Sheikh. So after their talks a chance to ask the Prime Minister why he was still so sure a bomb brought down the plane last weekend. Do we have some intelligence they do not have or do you think the Russians are withholding mm -hmm. some information? I act on the basis of intelligence that I received. I act on the basis of advice is that a smell, Athena? I cannot be sure, my experts cannot be sure that it was a terrorist bomb that brought down that Russian plane. But if the intelligence is, and the judgment is, that that is uh, a more likely than not outcome, then I think it's right to act in the way that I do. Back in Cairo, Mr. Sisi's tourism minister called Britain's response unjustified. A standing as he was in David Cameron's residence this afternoon, the Egyptian president was more diplomatic. The UK now appears to be suggesting that Egypt cannot run a secure airport in Sharm El Sheikh, and as I understand it, is an airport that you think is very secure. You told me you couldn't do something in ten months ago. Don't be glad. We will ask for our British friends to send teams to our to the Sharm El Sheikh airport to make sure that all the security procedures there are well enough. We have received the teams, we have cooperated with them, and they took the security action, so we're, we're happy with that. That revelation that Britain had raised concerns before and subsequently given Sharm El Sheikh the all clear suggests either something was missed or something got suddenly worse. Either way, Britain's response to the Russian airliner crash has not been received well at the Kremlin. A foreign ministry in Moscow, a spokeswoman, is <laughs> I'll see you your ass off on it. What's really shocking is the realisation that the British government has some kind of information that could shed light on the I'm going to have to stop this and say it in my back, I'll see you.